All right, welcome back. I'll do a quick video today, um, just talking about how to find the true level of a market. This is a ES 20-minute chart that I had posted for our people, and I posted it on stock twits around here. And I want to talk about how to just simply see the true level of buyers and sellers at a market. And we're going to use the wash and rinse structure. So in previous videos, I described the wash and rinse structure. I'll briefly go over it. Brand new again right here. Okay. So in a swing, we've learned swings. Swing, impulse, reaction, impulse. New high confirms a swing low. In a swing, there are components, right? This is one leg. This is one leg. This is one leg. There's also a pivot component in a swing. And we call that the wash and rinse. It's a it's a pivot component. And if you, if you observe markets, you'll see this happen quite often. So what I've done is I've broken down this pivot component into process and steps, things that have to happen. And we'll talk about it a little bit. So for instance, step one, there has to be a... MPL. Okay. MPL is just multiple touches on a line. You see, boom, boom, boom. It's not always a coil, but boom, boom, boom means buyers are hitting this thing. Boom, 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 boom. Step two, you zoom the MPL. Step two, you zoom the MPL. Step three, you retest it. Step three, you retest it. Now, you know, in this part of the process, it doesn't have to make a pivot. It can keep going. And step four, you zoom back through it. You zoom back through it. And then there's a step five where you take out a previous controllers. take out controlling sellers and you know when all is said and done you have the pivot component now this right here is a variation so I call this MPL the true level it's the true level of buyers and sellers let me find an example recent okay here's the NASDAQ tick chart from Friday Okay, so I have markets swinging. Now notice in this in this swing, it's got a pivot component. It's got one on the top and one on the bottom. See, there's step one, and what you're seeing here is see all these guys. They're stacking it. They're stacking it. See, buyers are hitting it. Buyers are hitting it. Buyers are hitting it. Buyers are hitting it. Buyers are hitting it, and they're holding it. They let them through the door. Step two, zoom MPL. Step three, retest MPL. Step four, zoom back through MPL. Okay, it doesn't always retest here for a chance, but it does. But look at the swing. Just look at the swing. It's got a pivot component on both sides. There's a, see it? This guy's got a brother. He was just taking apart the swing in a little more detail. See? Boom, boom, boom. It's the pivot component. What they do is they stack them up. And so that becomes the true level. So notice when price comes back up, notice it's hitting sellers. It doesn't care about this. This is also getting to understand what true support and resistance is. It's not the tops or the bottom. It's not the extremes. When you see this pivot here, when you see this pivot here, it's not like it just magically appeared. That pivot actually started here. Call that, call this the accumulation, right? Call this the distribution, however you want to put it. And so this becomes the true level of buyers. And so when it comes back, it becomes something to read. And as a matter of fact, um, come, uh, 
Monday, we'll see this this is its current true level so it's a way to read the market so that's a wash and rinse it's just the pivot component now back to the ES chart so I've explained the swings the pivot component the wash and rinse now this is a variation so notice this is making this true level here and all you're going to do is look for when you're looking for the true level of buyers and sellers in a market all you're doing is you're looking for the place where they stacked them right the buyers were buying it and then they stretched them but they refused to go any farther and then they came back okay and so that becomes this is your support this is the true level this isn't your support down here see it's just this is where the volume was this is where it's heavy if you ever watch this um, more than likely if you've been trading for a while you have been washed meaning you were long it opened the door <laughs> cleans the book and off it goes and this is thin this is heavy 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 and this is thin this happens fast meaning you know they're like one lotters here just puking it out and then one lotters here trying to reposition or trying to get short they get confused but this is the heaviness it's just a very simple way and you can see it slope to horizontal it's a very simple way to see where the level is where they've stretched it where they've stretched it where they've stretched and refused to go any farther so I'm giving details, but it's really simple. Boom, 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 stretch. Nope, changed their mind. So what this actually is, it's, a, it's an outside bar. It's a relative outside bar, which I'll be talking about later on in price action. So you can think of it like this. Inside bar. Outside bar, okay? It's a relative outside bar. And if you've seen my videos, you see this is how I mark an outside bar because this is the meat of the move. If you went up to a higher time frame, you would literally see an outside bar in here. Okay, so it's an outside bar structure. And in another video, I'll talk a little bit about that. And it's related to um, Andrews and expanding pivots and such. So as I'm watching the market dive, this looked obvious to me. Now just like everything else, these things come in minor and major, minor and major, and they come in relative. Now notice how these are about the same size. These are about the same size. If you come back over here, you can come here and look and see where's the meat of this move and then where's the V right see that's the meat that's this true level and then they dropped them and just like swings you might not realize it we spend a lot of time projecting the reaction leg or the impulse leg you can also project the pivot component so this would be minors and that would be major okay so anyways, it's a place to read. It's like a line in the sand. If buyers don't hang on to this second one back to this guy, then we can consider the flow is turned. But as long as it's holding, we can consider it continued behavior. This is why I post this chart in the middle of the... Oh my God. And so this is what happened after I posted it. All right. Now, just make some some observations here they don't always zoom back through and retest but often they do they don't mm, retest mm, this one did not this one it does so what this did was go through the process step one true level step two zoom see it step one true level step two zoom Step three, retest. It has a choice to keep going. We don't know. Step four, zoom back through. All right. 
and so later on after I posted this this level becomes something to watch anytime price dives down to it so let's take this to current so in the recent shebang last week this was the true level to watch and it was the true level I marked live and posted it's still our true level okay and watch you can you can also start to think about where the next one would be if price takes off so if price takes off this will become somewhere in here it's a little bigger this will become our next true level but in the meantime this is the level to watch in the ES see you don't need magic numbers or nothing you just watch and see right you're just looking for the meat of the move we're just identifying structures that's all so you take a chart like this and what we're doing is we're structuring a market so you take the meat of the move the coil the boom and we do this in relative form just like swings just like there are minor and major swings there are minor and major washes also and so you look and you see ah see that's the meat of the move they drop them out Boom. there it is again it coils up it contracts it stretches to the downside does not take the last one out see that we're, we're just looking at a way to see which way the market's going ah okay it does not take the last one out you can see okay and so then we keep following it like that does not take the last one out hmm? so what it did was expand so we have little ones so this is like minor and major swings if this starts to get complicated don't worry just let it soak these are minor washes and these are major washes you can see the whole thing is just even a balanced type of swing All right, so just to reiterate, all you're going to do is look for the meat of the move. Watch them V out of it, like that. Okay, that's your starting point. And you can do this on any chart. Any chart. If it's not making any here, it's not making any. But you'll see this over and over and over and over again and it's very simple you just look for where they're clustered up all right Enjoy.